So what I wanna do here is actually take a big old copy of a blog entry with an example, a couple examples actually, and then tell it to solve this. So basically my blog entry I've written up for what I've done so far looks like this. Imagine you're on a journey, you many routes to choose between and every time you choose a route, blah, 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 and you need to find the maximum path so you know which way to go, etc. You'll need to set up a binary tree, implement a function that returns the maximum sum of a root from root to leaf. For example, given the following tree, da 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 da, it returns 23, the tree is empty, it's zero. Um, the tree, but instead of, uh, and this is just some more examples. And then down here, I want it to start with, I want it to basically start with an empty, like an empty, uh, public class, write this example in C sharp, whoops, C sharp, starting with just a name space and, and class declaration like this, namespace tree, tree node, yep, um, and let's see, I'm going to give it should I give it a test or two or should we just let, let's see what we get with this so far. So this is a bit of a bunch of description, but I think this will give us something. So let's see what chat GPT 4.0 gives us. And there we go. And it is working already. Holy crap. Yep. Sure. Let's start by defining Trino class and then implement the function to find the maximum some path from the root to a leaf. So basically instantly did the whole thing. And here's how we can do it in C sharp. I added that little bit kind of toward the end. I don't think I had any, you know, let's see, this is, this is C sharp syntax. I asked for C sharp right here, but the rest, yeah, the rest of it is just example. I don't think I asked for C sharp until the very end. So it, it went through that. It got all the pieces. It seems like this code looks like my good God. It looks like it copied my code almost. Tree node root. Okay, I didn't I didn't do this this way. Oh, because it did a okay, so it did tree node, just this, and then it did binary tree with max packs helper. Oh, okay, so it did a, it inside the namespace. It did a class. It wrote another class, binary tree, which is then max some path max some path helper, which then does. Oh, this, this does the functionality. And then here's the program. Okay. It's building the tree here. Oh, that's, that's an interesting. Okay. I see. Yeah. It's literally doing like left, right, left, left, <laughs> right. Oh, it manually has to go into the tree to build it out to, <laughs> to do that. Maximum path for root to leaf is maximum path. Hmm. Okay. Max sum path. Left, right, some, right, some. Oh, that is that is interesting how I did it versus how I did it. So now the question is, is could I put this into code? Okay. So I'm gonna fire up the editor here. Let's just do it in code. All right, so let's see here. I'm just going to create a file. Let's do tree node, tree node, binary tree. Let's go create this and then C sharp AI binary tree max sum. We'll call this main.cs. Let's see what I have for .NET. .NET's, whoops. Okay, .NET is there, so I'll try to, I'm gonna try to manually do this. Let's see, so our program is just this. Oh, I guess I need the whole kit caboodle. So there's main. And then if I put all this in, 
Okay, now all this namespace, but then I'm going to need to import that somehow. We'll figure it out. So I'm, I'm just going to do this like I don't realize the implications of what I'm doing, and then we'll get AI to help me. And this is in C sharp. There we go. Let's do another one. We'll call it. So just binary tree, I think. We'll call it tree. Tree.cs. I'm gonna actually open the folder. So we get our nice little, yeah, there we go. Okay, main. There we go. And then tree. Boom. Nice syntax highlighting. And then in this. Hmm. I wonder if I can. Yep, I have definitely not used this too often for this. Can I just do .NET build? Okay, let's let's ask AI. How would how would I build this into a project that I can build and execute the what did it call it a program? Yeah, main the the good old main and program. To build and execute the C Sharp project with the provided C Sharp code, you need to create a new C Sharp console application. Here's how you can do it step by step. Um, I'm not using Visual Studio. Add the code build.net CLI. Oh, that's what I'm doing basically. So open a terminal prompt, navigate the directory you want to create it in, run the following. Okay, let's let's do this. And max symmetry. All right, we're in there now. But these are over here. So let's open those up and just move the folders, the files over. So I can have those. So let's hear C sharp. Da -da 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 -da. Whoops. Stop being fancy. There we go. Okay. Whoops. What in the world? That's okay. Timeline. I don't have, I can't look at the files. <sighs> oh, because it reopened the other one. Okay. Anyway, now I'm in the right directory. Add them. Yes, required assets. Let's add those, whatever those are. So there's my CS proj file. Let's do dev kit, install that. So we got main, we got program. Oh, there's our console dot whatever. So let's take this and actually put it in our program. And we can probably remove this and this, I think, and then just yeah, let's let's just do this. I think I can just do this. Bloop. Right? And then how do I reference these things? Using tree tree? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. So that pulled in that library. Okay, thank thank you. C sharp kit. Oh, that's pretty slick. Okay, so that's the C Start program. I don't need this file anymore. Here, delete. Okay, so we got tree and we got program. And then if I go back to is it why well, I want to go back here anyway. Okay, so we did this, we moved into that, we added the code, open the programs, yes and then .NET run. So we should be able to do .NET run. Oh, I didn't do this though, I did a reference and I just let the IDE fix it for me with the plugins. So we should be good to go. Let's try that. .NET run. Oh, 
Left must contain a non null value existing. Maximize some root path. Okay, let's let's do this then. Let's kill this and just go with what it got. And if, then if we have errors from it, we'll go with whatever. So, okay, copy that. It's basically the same code, but it wanted it all in one file. This should make it a bit more smooth to run. Oh no, it gave us problems anyway. It could not be found. What do you mean it can't be found? The binary tree is what I just added right here. Derp. Oh, so it needs to do it in here probably. So let's, yeah, using tree, we did it. So I'm in the, oh, because I put it in the namespace and then, okay, whatever. So it didn't, didn't give me that. Let's take this though and see what AI does for us from that perspective. Is that the, yeah, that's the second run. Okay, clear. So we'll, we'll just run it first. Oh, okay, it gives us a bunch of warnings anyway. So let's, well, it gives us the answer though. So, but let's see if AI will fix these warnings for us. Please fix these warnings. Ah, now hold on, settle yourself down. <laughs> there we go. Fix these warnings, send. All right, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? And this updated code left and right properties of tree node are declared as nullable. Okay, that would that should fix stuff. And maximum path helper method now accepts a nullable parameter. Okay, let's copy and paste this puppy in there and see what we get. Oh, look at it. It, it, it takes, it doesn't put tree in. You know what, let's do, I wanna get the AI to actually fix this for us, not that run. Oh, what? But it's, it's still fussing about this, so. Weird. So IDE problem, that's not much of a problem really then, because it built anyway. What happens if I do a .NET build? Cool, zero warnings, zero nothing. But the IDE is fussing about this. Which if I do that and add the using tree here, it fixes it for class. Okay, so I mean, I guess this should be off in some other code file anyway, in all seriousness. Like, let's put this in Let's make a new file, tree.cs, and then we'll put the stuff in there. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? It's like, that looks cool. No issues or anything crazy there. Tree is still here. So notice to look inside the folder tree for, which is also kind of a binary tree, right? I guess, it, well, it is a binary tree. Anyway, it looks in there through the folders and finds that namespace with that class in it. And thus, we should be able to just .NET run it again, or .NET, let's build it. Finds a member called the uh, type binary tree already. What? What? Oh, did it not like something about what is that saying? Tree already con contains tree node. What does that do? No. Oh. What happens if I run it, it should just break too, right? Yeah, it's gonna do that. What is this? I moved the namespace tree into a file called tree.cs and when I build it now I get the following errors let's see if it can fix this boondoggle I've created duplicate definitions of project right that's what it says this typically happens if you have the same classes defined in multiple files did I okay so let's let's just 
cleanly copy and paste this stuff like that. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna save it. Oh, you know what? I probably didn't even save the darn thing. And that's probably why it's flaking out. That's totally what I did. I, I moved it into that new file and I didn't save program.cs, which had, yeah, that's totally what I did. Um, you probably saw that in the video while you were watching this. So you caught me before I stumbled into it and before the AI told me, but hey, it still looked at it and figured it out um, without just the base error message being displayed, but it derived it from the base error message plus what would obviously probably happen, which is what happened. So here we are. And now .NET run and boom, works, right? Yep, there we go, 23. And we're finished with AI. AI basically implemented the code slightly differently than I did. Um, it didn't really give me a refactor or anything though. Uh, let's, let's see if it can do that real quick. Refactor this code so that it is more concise size and fewer lines of code. Let's see what it does. Okay, that's about the same. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. That does seem to be more concise. So it simplified the constructor removal of things. Building it still the same way. It's kind of silly. Well, it's, at least to me, it seems kind of silly. I like the way I did it. <laughs> um, so instantiated it, root there, maximum some path that the root leaf is, blah, 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 stream some max some path. And then, I don't know. It didn't, it didn't use modern bits. I wonder if I say re, re write the tree implementation using no, uh, I think I think that's going to be good enough based on what I got. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to tell it about a lot of other things to get it to refactor this into what I wrote. Um, so on this on this sense, I'm going to say that this one did pretty good. Uh, it didn't it didn't end up as minimalistic as what I did, but it's it's still perfectly acceptable and would absolutely be fine if this was a bit of code that you needed to commit into a repo. So with that. Catch you next time. In the meantime, happy composite thrashing code. Cheers. <laughs>